So one thing that you're going to want to do as a Seesaw teacher is manage your folders. So when you're in your Seesaw class, right now I'm in activities, <clears throat> we can go up to the wrench, our little settings area in the upper right corner. Click that and scroll down through our class setting and there's we're going to lo be looking for the manage folders so here we go manage folders there's a little um, carrot over on the right side in this particular class that i'm in i only have a social studies folder and so right i can create any folder that i need right now i can pick different colors i can do uh, reading in red check I can create a folder for science check. and any way that you want to create your folders think about how you work what's your workflow and figure out the best way to maybe label or um, manage those folders so when we're done that's just one for that class. Now that is my second grade class. If I go to my first grade class and I go to my little wrench and scroll down to my folders, manage folders, you can see that I have already built several folders for different areas. So um, especially if you're, you're co-teaching with someone, maybe the music teacher or PE, you don't have to only do uh, the folders that you manage, but think about who your co-teachers are and um, the different types of topics you'd want to have folders for. So that is one way to manage your folders. When you do get them all created, in every one of your classes. Um, please understand, I'm just gonna take this uh, assignment or this uh, activity right here. When you share this out with students, you can assign the folders right here. First day of school, let's just say all about me and check. And so now that's going to be in the All About Me folder, and you can see the little pink All About Me next to the folder name. I can add skills there. These are our standard. If we needed to do skills, we'll just type them in, check the skills that fit, and hit that green check in the upper right-hand corner. So those are just a couple of ways that you manage your folders in your Seesaw Classroom. Again, if you have questions, please contact me at mvaleri at kusd.edu.